in our last lesson we worked on the header uh, styling so we have uh, uh, these two labels for example not positioned properly um, within our own which we're going to work on so, um, at the moment if we go into our index HTML uh, within uh, the nav header we have the, these labels so we're going to um, target that within the CSS file uh, so hashtag nav header so we're going to navigate into the UL elements and target the labels okay so I'm going to give it a position absolute so this sort of positions uh, our labels absolutely uh, to one position um, within on the page without taking into consideration um, the contents on the left and right side of it so if I draw a box around uh, those that label for example we can see um, the space is taken up there. So what we want to do is increase um, that space and then we can uh, position our, our label properly. So I'm going to make a, a class a fixed width uh, 35 pixels. So resize um, we need to attach it to our HTML. So if we come here and put it here, fixed width okay so that there we have um, the fixed width and we can see our label is right next to it okay so I'm going to do the same here uh, fixed width and reset and that's it so now we want to push our labels up um, a little bit so we could get rid of the box and to to push labels up we need to use a negative value on the label so for example we could say uh, margin uh, top, I could say minus uh, something like 10 pixels. Okay, so if we come back and reset the screen, it's push the labels minus 10 pixels upwards. And then we could uh, say margin left, and again we could use another negative value uh, to take it to the left a little bit. Okay, so that's that's what we've achieved there. So we have the copyright uh, which we can move downwards on the screen. So if, if we go into our HTML, uh, the footer, we could give it an ID since we're only going to have one of this on this page. So admin-footer and give it a class also, clear, fix, uh, get rid of the dash in between. Okay, so that will clear the float for us. And um, if we now say in our CSS file, admin-footer, and we say position it absolute. So I want to position this absolute to the bottom of the page. So once we've done that, we can see everything gets um, bunched up together. So we can say the width is 100 pixels. And there we go. And we want to position it um, at the base of the page. So we say bottom zero pixels. Reset the screen and there we go. Okay, so we'll add a few styles to our footer give it a background color of white okay we'll give it a padding so we can see it properly 10 pixels all around and there there we go we could also say um, just put a font size to be 12 pixels and a color is 6c and then reset and there there we go so the footer is down and it's fixed but if you're checking Firefox you will notice that um, it doesn't play very nicely here and uh, we can fix this um, so if we come up here go to display table uh, we set width 100 pixels um, 100% sorry so that would um, stretch things out for us but we have these um, icons um, missing so we can fix this icons by um, making a few changes. Uh, there's, some, there's some issues with Bootstrap um, downloaded files. So if we go into uh, Bootstrap uh, CDN, uh, come up to this page, uh, click here and copy our HTML. And we are uh, going to replace uh, what we've done previously. So we're not using our local one anymore so paste the one that you've copied from the browser save this and then 
um, let's go back into Firefox and reset. Um, you're slowly getting there, but it's not quite. What you now need to do is add HTTP here and colon and save and go back into Firefox. Reset and that's it. It's, it's all there and working fine. So it's not a problem from us, it's just some issue, um, some issue with Bootstrap. Okay, so this is also fine and this is working okay. So in the next lesson, we are going to style some more elements um, on our blog admin. Uh, we've done well in this lesson. Um, in the next lesson, we'll carry on from where we've, um, we've left off. So I'll see you in the next lesson.